Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. The timeline is used to chronologically control the properties of the objects placed into the stage. Animation is produced by setting the placement and properties of the objects within the stage for each frame shown in the timeline. Other than the stage, the timeline is the second most important object within the Flash design environment. A complete description of the functionality of the timeline is beyond the scope of this single lesson, but it will be explored in its entirety throughout this tutorial. What you need to know right now are the basics of the display and structure of the timeline. The timeline is composed of the layer section over at the left and the frame section at the right. Now a layer is like an invisible sheet placed over the stage. You can then insert various objects that you want to show within the animation into the layer or layers of your Flash document. Now by default, every new Flash document contains a single layer, although you can create more. There are also various types of layers, which will be discussed in more detail at a later point in this tutorial. Now each layer has its own name, properties, and stacking order within this stage. Now the Layers section of the timeline shows all the layers in your Flash document at the left side. Now a frame is one unit of time shown in the frame section of the timeline. Note that in the frame section of the timeline there's a numeric marker shown for every five frames. Generally speaking, the placement and properties of the objects within the layers is set for each frame within the timeline of the Flash movie in order to produce animation. Theoretically, there is an infinite number of frames available. In reality, a finished Flash movie can contain about 16,000 frames. However, the chance of needing this many frames is extremely unlikely. Now, above the frames in the timeline, note the red rectangle with the red line that extends to the bottom of the timeline. This is the playhead of the timeline, and it allows you to view the content of the stage for the frame upon which the playback head rests when your movie is paused or when you're designing. To use the playhead, simply click and drag the red rectangle to the frame at which you would like to see the stage content. You can also use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars in this section of the timeline to scroll to a certain area within your Flash movie if it's extremely long or if you have multiple layers. At the far right end of the frames, you can find the Frame View button, which you can use to change the way your frames are displayed in the timeline. The tiny, small, normal, medium, and large options will change the width of your frames. The Short option will shorten your frame height to allow more layers and less space. The Tinted Frames option will toggle your frame's color coding option. When this option is selected, the color of your frames will change depending on what type of activity is going on in inside of that frame. Now the Preview option will zoom in on your frames and show you the area of the stage where there is content. The Preview and Context option will do the same thing, but show you the entire stage instead of just the area of the stage with content. The default options are Normal, and tinted frames. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachyoucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!